I'm a millionaire. Actually, not quite. I'm almost a millionaire. I was a millionaire yesterday. And I spent some of it, so now I'm not a millionaire. So let's have a look here at Vietnamese money. This is it. This is what you're looking at on, on the bed. All right. First, it's, it's like, wow. They got so many different bills to keep track of. It's very confusing if you're not used to it. And I'm not used to it. Although I'm getting a little bit more used to it. Okay, so here's the, here's the big one. Here's the big bill. 200,000 dong. Vietnamese dong. That's the 200,000. I've noticed that, you know, it's the same guy on every bill. So he must be the president, I imagine. Okay. 200,000 dong. Here we got 100,000 dong bills which I got five of them. Now, I'm not quite a millionaire, almost, but not quite. Unfortunately, this doesn't represent a lot of money in dollars. The, well, I don't know, I live in Japan, so the exchange rate for me is yen, Japanese yen, and <clears throat> it's the market rate is around what was it? Something like 190. No, 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 no. The market rate was 202, I believe. 202 yen per no, no, no. 202 dong per yen. So let's let's just and and the hotel here is selling selling or buying whatever um if i give them 10,000 yen then i get 1.9 million dong so just for simplicity's sake just to make the math easier let's say that it's 200 okay so uh, 200 dong for one yen, Japanese yen. And of course, one Japanese yen is approximately one penny in US dollars or Canadian dollars. So that means that 200,000 dong is equal to, if it's 200 dong per yen, then that means this is equal to about 1,000 Japanese yen. And 1,000 Japanese yen is approximately $10 US. Now because I'm used to Japanese yen and I can think in yen, um, it's fairly easy. What I do is I just cut off the last three zeros. So I cut off these three zeros, then I end up with 200, zero, zero, 200, and then I multiply that by 5, and I get Japanese yen, 1,000 Japanese yen, and that's the approximate value of this bill, 1,000 Japanese yen. Now, if I wanted to convert this to dollars, how would I do that? It's about $10, right? So I suppose what I would do is I would simply cut off the last five digits and then multiply by five and I would end up with dollars. That would be easy enough, I guess. But when you start cutting off too many zeros, then it starts to get confusing. So, how would I do that? Maybe I would what I would do, what maybe what I would do is I would cut off two zeros. Hmm. And then that would leave me with 2,000, right? And then I would imagine a period. 
like so it'd be like 20 20.00 and then divide by 2 and I'd have 10.00 so $10 I don't know I don't know how I would do that in a quick and easy way in my head when I'm shopping anyway it works fairly well with yen um, with dollars like I said uh, maybe I just oh you know what I do I would cut off four zeros and then divide by two right cut off the last four then you got 20 divide by two and then you got 10 that's ten dollars that's about right okay uh, all right so anyway so that's the two hundred thousand dong bill here's the one hundred thousand dong bill after that we got the fifty thousand dong bill okay real quick how much is this in US dollars two dollars and fifty cents right is that right yes it would be fifty yes that's right two dollars and fifty cents US okay or Canadian uh, after the fifty got the twenty here's the a blue bill I like all the colors Kind of cool. Although these colors are very similar, but they're not quite the same. Um, this one's more, more like pink, like a very light, very light pink or beige mixed in. And this one's a more solid pink. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Green for the hundred thousand. Blue for the twenty thousand. Here we've got the ten thousand. 10,000 dong bill, which looks to be kind of like similar to the 200,000, but a little bit more brown. The, the, the picture is brown, whereas this guy's picture is red. Um, kind of brown. Brown, beige, light brown. Cream. Maybe like a cream color. I don't know. An expert in colors can give me a more accurate name, I suppose. So, all right, we've got 200,000, 100,000, 50,000, 20,000, 10,000. How much is 10,000 worth in dollars? Well, if you cut off one, two, three, four zeros, that leaves you with the one in dollars. That's one dollar divided by two, 50 cents. So this would be worth about 50 cents US or Canadian. And. Here we go. Now you see, this is the problem with cutting off four zeros, is when I get to the 5,000, how do you cut off the last four digits? You can't, then you end up with nothing, right? Well, you end up with 0.5, really. So uh, this would be like 25 cents. But it's easier to convert to yen, because I would just cut off three, I end up with five, and then times five, so that's about 25 yen, right? And here's the two, 2,000 dong bill. And the 1,000 dong bill. And like I said, it's a picture of the same man on every bill. I don't know if it's the same picture exactly, but it's the same man, that's for sure. So he must be, he must be the president. Is it a president in Vietnam? I don't know. President, prime minister? I don't know. I think it's president. Anyway, so that is Vietnamese money for today. So if you come to Vietnam, um, be aware that the numbers are very big and it can be a little bit tricky to convert into your currency. But if you develop a little mental trick like that, like mine where I cut off three zeros and then I multiply by five for yen, or I cut off four zeros and divide by two for dollars, um, then uh, it makes it a lot easier. So, there you go. Almost a millionaire. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.